Hey, what's up? Jason here from Unity3D.College. In this video, I'm going to go over a library that a friend of mine, Kyle, built that I just kind of want to share and get out there and you know, let other people try out. And it's called Simple Inject. It's a very basic level kind of injection system that allows you to kind of simplify some attributes and find components with a little bit less code. So here's the repository, and let me just show you how it works. So if you jump over to, well, there's the, let's go to the game first. So here I just have his little package. You can see you can just grab it, import it straight from the repository. And I've got a character set up here. And if I look at the character, you'll see we've got a couple components here. We've got an audio source, a weapon, and a renderer. And this is just like any other game where you're gonna have cached components that you either are assigning with a serialized field reference or you're doing a call like a git component in children or a git component. And instead, what he set up here is a way to just use attributes to make those calls. And then you just make a simple call to injector.inject .inject and pass in the object. And what it essentially does is call in and get component in children for every component that's a child or marked with this attribute. And just a get component call for anything that's just on the, on the object. And you can see here, what we're really gaining is simplification of our code so with three parameters this might be you know we're only reducing our lines by two but a lot of the time you'll end up with you know, scripts that have five ten uh, I, i've seen them as high as 20 or 30 although i'd say that's probably way too many but you, you know what i mean you can end up with a lot of components on an object and being able to do it this way i think is kind of clean it's pretty interesting and it's also a, a good lesson that you can really extend the build process and the editor to add this kind of functionality for your own uses. So if you try this out and you like it, awesome. Uh, I think it's pretty neat. It's definitely worth giving a shot. And um, if you try it out and it maybe doesn't fit for you, at least come away with the idea that you can build your own customizations like this. You can put, you know, put together your own attributes and have them modified or do some modifications at compile time to simplify stuff out. And this is something that we use a lot in uh, non-game programming too. It, I use it for like property event notifications on Windows UIs, um, a, a lot of things like that where you, there's a lot of boilerplate code and you're cutting it out. And that's what this is doing. So let me give it a run real quick. We'll see how it goes. And then um, I'll show you the link one more time. So I've got the character here. You can see nothing's assigned. And if I switch to debug mode, you know, those are all empty. Then I hit play, and they should just all get the references. Now, rend did not get a reference, and that's simply because there isn't a renderer on here. So if I had added a, like a mesh renderer, and then hit play, now we should see the renderer actually get assigned as well. Because that was not a get component in children calls, just get component call. Um, so that's kind of the basics of it. I think eventually I'd like to do another video going over exactly how this works and how you can create your own. But I want to make sure there's enough interest. So if you think that that would be something worth learning about, uh, just leave a comment, let me know, and I'll do a video to show you how you can make your own attribute system that does something similar, kind of recreate this functionality or create some other custom uh, editor capabilities. So again, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, you know, please share it with friends uh, don't forget to like and hit subscribe and uh, again I'll put a link to Kyle's repository in the description below so just hop over there and grab it try it out thanks for watching